and the stress that these athletes have undergone, uh, not only after the postponement, but uh, just also having to come here and deal with a, a pandemic in the Olympics. Yeah, it's certainly a lot to take in on top of constantly training and then competing at this, this stage, uh, uh, this level on the world stage, rather. And KPRC2's Haley Hernandez spoke to a sports psychologist about the mental health of these uh, the athletes during these games. She's joining us live from outside of Simone's gym in spring this evening. Yeah, and here at Simone's Gym in spring, of the people we've talked to, most of them are still happy to cheer on Team USA Gymnastics, even without Simone. Nobody seems to be holding a grudge, even though that could be considered a blow to the team, which is a win for mental health advocates. In a sport where physical injuries are well understood, Simone Biles may have just opened the door to better understanding the extreme mental pressure professional athletes feel. And she's at a level where she can call it quits and still be respected, according to sports psychology consultant Lenny Waite. How's that for being the GOAT? Regardless of what she does, she has so many gold medals um, and she can be a role model. Here's what Simone said about making the decision. No, mental is not there, so I just need to let the girls do it and focus on myself. Wade says this mental hiccup could be as monumental as her gold medals in Rio, as it's a victory for athletes and mental health champions. Simone was not in a great place and she wasn't going to be able to perform to the best of her ability and, and kind of the mental damage that she might do long term wasn't worth it. And to recognize that human element of this extraordinary performer in that high pressure moment is I just, yeah, I'm proud of the coaching staff for being able to put Simone first as a person. Um, even though that they really wanted her to have her best athletic performances today. So it's possible that those times of coaches saying, you know, just get out there and get your head in the game, it's possible that could be over. Waite says that this is a big step in the right direction for coaches to be trusting their athletes and understanding that sometimes they might know what's best for the team. Reporting live in spring, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.